pray for me pray for me is the plague of weak people yes there is a place for intercession but let me tell you everybody who is rising must master the mysteries of the altar you must know how to hold on to the horns of the altar until you command perpetual victory imagine for instance that michael jackson before he died said jesus is lord do you know even if it were a mistake he will win more souls than many crusades at once because a man of influence said something do not do not undermine the power of influence the way we speak the way we dress the way we think our revelation of success our revelation of failure all of this have come as a result of a proposition that has been sold to us through the years are we blessed I came from a very a very core evangelical background and for many years our focus was you know saving sinners and that's very profitable please understand what I'm saying but then we discovered that whilst individuals were getting saved our territory was not safe because one person sitting in the corridor of power can manipulate a policy that seems to override the spiritual convictions of people and i said something is wrong with our theology an intelligent god will not create this kind of system and so i found out that in addition to evangelism there was a dimension of influence that we had ignored the sincere people who led us to jesus christ taught us that any con any desire for influence was carnal any desire for influence was satanic and so in our loyalty to the theology that we received we ignored opportunities that will bring us to the lamb light for the sake of his majesty are we blessed the opportunity that will help us to rise to dimensions where we'll be able to mentor nations and mentor kings and bring the counsel of God to nobles we ignore those opportunities but we thank God for the privilege that he's given us every territory has the mind control systems the kings the captains of industry the men and women who sit in the position of authority and let me tell you whoever sits in that position influences the people the spirit of the antichrist we see it exemplified or personified in the person of jezebel jezebel is a is a woman who captures the spirit of the antichrist and the character of jezebel is that every time she shows up she looks for government she looks for the place of power to sit because it is easy to frustrate the prophets of god when you are sitting with the king are we together with everything with everything we will shout for your glory with everything with everything we will shout forth your praise i believe that in my lifetime our generation will not disappoint god i believe that we are that generation in the name of jesus that will will cause the counsel of god to be established first in the hearts of men but the system will know that there are witnesses who walked upon this earth influence influence is not just a carnal search for fame listen do not confuse what i'm teaching you there are people who have an ambition that does not have kingdom come in it what qualifies what what the difference between a vain ambition and a desire to represent jesus is the motivation behind it for the believer your motivation is your kingdom come your will be done this is why i desire growth your kingdom come your will be done this is the anthem of the believer that everything that motivates our life the energy that drives us the labor that we do in the spirit sociologically speaking and otherwise is motivated by this one principal motivation 
that the Christ be revealed, that the Christ be glorified. That's it. Every other blessing that comes whilst we seek to establish that, we receive with thanksgiving. But that our primary motivation is not becoming a great man, becoming a great woman. That's, that's, that's too small, that's too small a motivation. Let me share with you what I call five pillars of influence. If you master this that I teach you, I stand by the authority of the living God. And I tell you, your life will never be small. You will rise to levels and dimensions in the spirit where God can do great things with you. Please look up before we write. Did you know that even the revelation of God to men is not just dependent on their secret place and their passion for him. It's dependent on the position of influence that they occupy. There are some things God cannot show you because you are not seated in a position of significance enough. Pray for me. Pray for me is the plague of weak people. Yes, there is a place for intercession, but let me tell you, everybody who is rising must master the mysteries of the altar. You must know how to hold on to the horns of the altar until you command perpetual victory.